Hey guys, in this video we're gonna be making a Harry Potter magic wand. So first off, you're gonna need a wooden dowel and some sort of drill with a small drill bit. Drill a hole into one end of the dowel, like so. And using a saw make a small notch. Then take a piece of wire a bit longer than the dowel and split the ends. Then strip back a small portion of the wire. And twist them up like so. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Next take a piece of tape. And secure the wires like so. Now start wrapping the wire around the wooden dowel by twisting the dowel until you have something like this. Then hold the wire in place with your finger and using a small bead of hot glue secure it into place. You can also secure the top part with a small bead of hot glue. Now split the ends completely and secure one wire to the dowel using a line of hot glue. Then cut the other wire at about one quarter and then strip the end of that wire. And now twist it and fold it in half and then secure it to the dowel. Make sure the copper is still exposed. Next, take a small strip of cardboard and fold it in half. Then fold it in half again. And take one half and roll it up like this. And secure it with a dab of hot glue or some tape. Next, take a small piece of aluminum foil and wrap it around the cardboard end, like so. Then fold it back. Then take another piece of wire which has a hook at the end and insert it into the aluminum pocket. Make sure it makes contact with the aluminum. Then secure it with some tape. Now take the whole assembly and secure it to the wooden dowel using a generous amount of hot glue. Make sure the aluminum bit hangs right over the exposed copper wire. This will be our trigger mechanism. Then secure the wire into place using a small line of hot glue. Make sure the aluminum bit can make contact with the exposed copper. Next take a small ball of string. Add a small bead of hot glue to the wooden dowel. Then secure the string into place and start twisting the dowel. Like this you can create a decorative wand grip. Once you're at the end, you can secure the string with another drop of hot glue. 
Now your wand is pretty much done. It still doesn't really look like a wand, so let's give it a paint job. Grab some paints. I'm using some acrylic paint. Then let your imagination take over and personalize your wand however you like. I decided to use some different shades of brown and mix some white to create this wand. Make sure you don't cover the aluminum or the copper with the paint. Now take a longer length of wire, then grab a 4.5 volt battery. Now wrap the wire around the battery and secure it using some tape. Now finally, connect the two wires coming from the battery to the two wires coming from the wand. Now let's make the spell effect. First we'll make the electric match, I have a separate video on that but I'll go over it anyway. Take a steel sponge and cut off a small piece. Then take some small wires and connect them to the steel sponge like this. Now take a match and secure the wires over it like this. Use some tape to hold the entire thing together and that's your igniter all done. Now grab a small spoon of some sort of flash powder or black powder and place it on a piece of plastic or plastic wrap. And now stick the igniter head first into the powder and close the plastic around the match. Use some tape to hold it all together. That's your electric flash puff all done. And now simply stick it into the wand and then wrap the igniter wires around the wand wires like this. That's it, your wand is all set to go. Here are some demonstrations in slow motion. As you can see, it's really bright. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to stay safe.